Heavenly Father, the God of all that exists as far as I know, the maker of me, the life of me. You taught me the truth. And you have sent me out here on a mission to help save America. To help America discern between the truth and deception. The message that I was given to speak to America and even its religious institutions or its church is that God is invisible, cannot be seen, touched, felt, or conjured up in imagination. Yet the evidence is all about us. Everything, evidence. That every individual was a child of God. And no human being was above another, more entitled than anyone else, more deserving than anyone else, equal to love. You taught me and told me to tell them that they were on the path to hell. You told me to tell them that there was another path the one that they pray for, the one that they ask for, the one that they say they long for, was available to them. Now, the present. You told me to tell them that your way offered their needs, their wants, and their desires, Heavenly Father, you told me to tell them that their needs for survival, food, clothing, and shelter, education, and health care would be available to every individual on earth, not just America, but on earth. You told me to tell them that the means for this, my friends, was that you, God, had established in the earth, on the earth, above the earth, seen and unseen, all that will be required for mankind throughout the beginning of time to return it. Whatever their imagination can conjure up, you told me to tell them that the way that you have provided that these might be made manifest is that each individual has been given a gift, a gift that they bring to this earth with them, a gift to contribute to the process of the life that they live, the life that they love, the heaven that they experience. They got a gift to create a measure that entitles when all of it comes together, it is the love of God being made real through the hands of man for the benefit of humankind, that the heaven that they talk about going to is the heaven that they are living in because they deserve it. The evidence that they deserve it is that they have created it. You told me to tell them that. You told me that there would be peace and prosperity and freedom and joy of life and the fulfillment of their dreams if they could just follow that plan. You told me to tell them that there would be no need to lie, to cheat, to steal, to kill, to terrorize, to have war, to engage in hatred and racism and bigotry. None of these things would be necessary. You told me to tell them that all they had to do was to recognize the power, God, the invisible, 
No man gets the respect of God. No president, no anybody, no pharaoh, no king, no queen. Only one gets that, and that's God, invisible. And every last one of us are committed to God, the invisible. And the evidence that we are committed to God, the invisible, is that we are committed to one another. Plain and simple, ladies and gentlemen. Plain and simple. This is what my Heavenly Father shared with me to share with you. And it was so exciting. I ran for president, I believe, starting in 88 or something like that. And every time after that, I would seek after that as a platform, even sought after governorship of the state of Minnesota, United States Senator from the state of Minnesota, Mayor of St. Paul, Minnesota, Mayor would be in Minnesota. And each time I had to do that as a right hand. Why? Because the things that I just shared with you about this heaven that God wants for you and it didn't require not one penny, no money at all, everything was just heavenly. Nobody wanted to hear. Nobody would support it. I had to run as a right hand. Spend my time making videos and CDs and DVDs, knocking on doors and going to churches where they let me in and hanging on corners. And even today, if you check my, I got thousands of videos here on YouTube and Facebook. And I've been talking for years about the same thing. And you got a president that's trying to kill you, trying to steal you, breaking every last one of your laws. And you got that because you didn't know the truth. I'm going to say didn't know the truth. I know you didn't. Now you do. So what are you going to do? You got an election season coming up. You got the world seems like you hate Trump, but evil seems like you just got some power from somewhere because people just feel with it. And the rest of us in America are talking about something less than what God has given us. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, and I want you to listen to me well. You know those of you who can't stand Trump, you know he's evil. You know he represents evil. And those that support him represent evil. You know that. But for everybody else, listen to me well. I just shared with you what the Heavenly Father wants for the human race. And that includes all of us Americans. That's not what the Democrats are pursuing. They got their agenda, and it's not that agenda. So all I can tell you is this. If you can support a democratic agenda, something less than God, then you might as well accept Trump. There's no difference. All of you. I'm just telling you like it is. This is the message that God wants you to know. Now I realize when you go to those polls to vote right now, you got your mind made up. But if you change your heart, you can go to those polls. And regardless of what the outcome is, as far as somebody trying to win or somebody talking about not leaving, regardless of that, you now got the power. Why? Because you are connected to the source. And the source is righteous. And righteous gives you all kind of boldness and courage. And the truth is his own defense. You don't have to worry about losing. So ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to leave that with you. And thank you so very much for this time. I got another production I want to do in a little bit moments from now. So uh, until next time, this is Eddie Marcus saying thank you and have a good day.